Welcome back to Morning Markets on Friday, the 5th of February. George Bell here, investment analyst, to bring you up to date on the key moves in markets over the last 24 hours. Several events to highlight from yesterday, the first being the meeting of the Bank of England's Monetary Policy Committee. During the meeting, the committee agreed to maintain the central bank base rate at 0.1% and the bond purchase programme target at £895 billion. This target includes the £150 billion which came from the additional package in November. Total current stock was confirmed at £759 billion. Guidance from the committee also suppressed the expectation of negative interest rates in the near term. Communication around policy remains very fragile and the need for careful consideration was highlighted within the minutes. The committee aimed to manage expectations, stating that sending in signal they intended to take the base rate negative was not their intention. But given negative rates are within the toolkit, it would be appropriate to start preparations to provide the capability to do so if necessary. The focus of this preparation being the UK banks as the PRA survey highlighted the operational challenges this could bring without sufficient time to prepare. On the economic front, whilst the minutes did recognise the challenges faced in the first quarter of 2021 as a result of the national lockdown, optimism was evident for the second half of the year, citing the opportunity for increased activity levels, spending and demand as the vaccine programme continues. The reaction was most notably felt within the sovereign bond and the currency markets. The UK 10-year yield rose 6.8 basis points to 0.44%. The UK 30-year up 7.5 basis points to 1.01%. And sterling rose to 1.14 against the euro, an FX rate which was last seen in May of last year. Within equity markets, the FTSE, which is influenced by sterling strength, was flat on the day. It was down around 6 basis points. The FTSE 250 was up 30 basis points. Within Europe, the Eurostox 50 was up 90 basis points. The strongest returns within Europe were seen within Italian shares, which gained 1.7% to close to a one-month high. This is extending a rally after the former central bank um, chief Mario Draghi accept, accepted the task of becoming a new, the, forming a new government on Wednesday. Across in the US, looking at the main indices, the S&P 500 was up 1.1% on close, the Nasdaq 1.2% and the Russell 2000, which captures a broader range of firms in terms of the market cap there, was up near 2% on the day, taking total returns to 11.5% year to date. A positive pathway, which was followed overnight in Asia with the CSI 300 up 56 basis points, the Hang Seng up 84 basis points, and in Japan, the Nikkei up 154 basis points. An area of focus today will be the US non-farm payrolls data, which will give further insight to the health of the labour market. Earlier this week, we had the ADP report, which came in better than expected, with the US adding 174,000 new jobs in January, relative to the expectations of analysts at just 50,000. So whilst the data is showing signs of life, which was taken positively, there is still 10.7 million Americans unemployed, driving optimism for Biden's $1.9 trillion relief bill to pass through Congress. In terms of the reaction, the US dollar strengthened, 50 basis points, 0.5% on the day against a basket of international currencies. And in the bond market, the reaction was a bit more muted. The 10-year yield pushed out one basis points. The 30-year yield pushed out 1.5 basis points. So we've experienced the yield curve steepen over the week. That's all for today. We look forward to bringing you up to date on more markets next week. Thank you. Subscribing to True Potential YouTube channel is quick and easy. Simply go to your YouTube app on your phone, type in True Potential and press the red subscribe option. You'll then be notified as and when new videos are released.